My concerto for vibraphone was commissioned by Lisa Rogers down at Texas Tech University. She wasn't terribly specific about what she wanted except for the size of the ensemble, uh, the duration, wanted it to be about 10 min uh, 15 minutes. And then the other stipulation was that it, was, it had very simple, hummable melodies. Like a lot of my pieces, the vibraphone concerto is influenced by something completely outside of the music. And I stumbled across this collection of poems by Pablo Neruda called Ode to Opposites. And two lovely poems, one of them is uh, Ode to Nighttime and the other one is uh, Ode to Enchanted Light. The poems flow right in from the first into the second one. And at the end of the first poem, he talks about um, uh, daytime being born out of the nighttime and just bursting forth. So that was the idea here of making the, uh, the movements flow directly into one another, having that as a taka, uh, have this single timpani roll, you know, that, that acts as the bridge, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> This is my first time actually writing for vibraphone outside of a uh, typical percussion ensemble setting. Uh, I hadn't written any solo pieces to this point. You know, dealing with it as a, a solo instrument, you know, it's it's quite it's quite different, and it's uh, so different from approaching the uh, the marimba. You know, you've got this this crazy thing called a pedal at your disposal to make the solo vibraphone stand out in this piece. Uh, occasionally. Uh, well, I always tried to make sure that it was generally in its own register. There wasn't too much that was, was fighting with me in the same exact same register that I was playing. One moment and the second moment in particular comes to mind this uh, ya da da da. Uh, the ensemble vibraphone joins me just one octave lower playing octaves, playing the melody with me, not playing all of the extra notes, but just playing those notes with me and that really helps fortify my sound and it makes me sound like, you know, I, I'm just huge. 